I think we just have to address um, what we're all thinking, which is how incredibly fabulous this hat is. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys 10 fabulous winter outfits. When I was putting them together I couldn't actually believe that we hadn't done this already this year but I'm really excited to show you the looks because I feel like every year I just get more and more confident with my winter style because as you guys know I am a spring summer girl at heart so it's like a little bit of extra effort for me to feel like I'm nailing my winter style but I feel like every year I get a little bit better. Before we start I'd like to say a big thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Karma. My regular followers will probably know all about this already, but Karma is an app and a Google Chrome extension that is basically your best friend when it comes to online shopping. It gives you coupon and discount code notifications, back in stock notifications, and so many other cool features. It's really amazing to use this time of year with Christmas coming up, and of course the fact that it's Cyber Week this week, so brands are dropping their discounts left, right, and center. Karma totally saved my life last Cyber Week, letting me know in all of the items that I had saved from my videos went into the sale so I could let you guys know. So Karma is really easy and free to use. You just download the Chrome extension from the Google Chrome store and it pops a little button into your browser. And then when you're browsing any of your favorite online stores, you can click the Karma button when you see an item that you like to save. And you can get notifications via email or mobile push when an item you've saved goes on sale, has a coupon code or comes back in stock in your size. You can also create lists and wish lists to organize your shopping um, which is really useful this time of year and it can really help you control like impulsive purchases as well and one of my favorite features of karma is it actually scans the internet for coupon codes and applies them to your basket to check out automatically and you can only use this feature on your computer so you really have to download the chrome extension and on top of all of that when you shop from select retail partners karma actually gives a cash back to you and a good cause of your choice so as you can tell, Karma is an absolute online shopping must have, especially at this time of year. And you guys can download it for free by clicking on the link down below. And now onto the outfits. Don't forget that I will link everything I show in today's video down below in the description box. I'll also be updating the description box daily because brands usually carry on dropping their sales and discounts throughout the week. I also have a couple of bonus videos this week as it's Cyber Week. So make sure you guys are subscribed and have notifications turned on. And of course, make sure you guys come and follow me on my Instagram because I post the best pics from the best sales every single day with swipe ups on my Instagram story to make sure you guys get the most out of Cyber Week. And now let's get started. So guys, you know I always start the video with one of my favorite looks and I am so obsessed with this outfit, literally from head to toe. I just think it looks so so chic and stylish, but it's also incredibly cozy. First of all, let's talk about the dress. So I actually featured this jumper dress from Abercrombie in my video a couple of weeks ago when I showed you guys what was new in my wardrobe. And when I was editing it back, I kind of felt like the jumper dress just by itself, it kind of didn't have an impact. Like it didn't look that great on camera when I was just stood there with the jumper dress on with like no shoes, no accessories. It was just really, really plain. So I really wanted to style it up today for you guys so you could see how nice it can look and what like a great part of a winter outfit it is. It's just a really great base for an outfit. It's simple but it's classic. It's so so soft and warm and they do have it in three colors. It's so simple but it's perfect for every day. It's really low effort and it's lovely and warm because it's knitted. And then over the top of the dress I have this absolutely incredible sleeveless jacket from Oasis. This is honestly divine. Like I just got this for today's video but I think I'm definitely going to keep it or I'm going to keep an eye on the sales this week. I just love it. I think it's so fun and different. I would never wear this if it had sleeves. Like I just would never consider it. I would think it was too long and just too much. Whereas this is perfect and it just adds such a cool element to the look. Plus it's really, really warm as well. And you can wear this gilet thing with everything. Like you can wear it with dresses, shorts and skirts, trousers. It can just be the perfect little throw on over any winter outfit. And then on my feet, I'm wearing these amazing boots from And Other Stories. They are so so nice and as you guys know i have several pairs of knee-high boots already but i am so tempted to keep these because they're really comfortable first of all they fit just really nicely like they're so easy to get on and off 
but they're still structured like they're not all sloppy and like falling down the color is just so perfect and versatile you can wear these with anything again you can tuck leggings jeans into these or wear them with like skirts and dresses like this i just absolutely love them i think they're amazing and i think you get a lot of wear out of these especially as they're in such a good color and the heel height is perfect as well it's not too high so you can wear these like out and about and you're going to be able to walk around in them so now for my accessories as you can see i'm wearing the incredible burberry scarf and burberry tote bag from my luxury essentials video last week so i actually only filmed that video a few days ago and i decided to keep hold of the items so i could actually style them up in this video and show you how i would actually wear them i just think they look amazing the scarf is so stunning like the colors are just sublime it's cashmere of course so it's incredibly soft it's going to keep you really warm and it just adds so much to the look too and then the bag i just think is amazing like to say it's a canvas tote bag which is something that we all need they're so so handy the fact that it can actually look this stylish I think is amazing. I love how it's such a casual bag and yet it really makes a statement. I just love it and I love this whole look. Honestly guys, for me, this is just the perfect winter outfit. I'm so warm and cozy, but I just think it looks so, so chic and stylish. So next up guys, I thought I'd do a little tight look because you know knee high boots and over the knee boots are gonna be getting a lot of airtime in this video. So I thought I'd do a little tights and boots look for you. We do also have a jacket, which I'm gonna leave off for the minute because it's so overwhelmingly amazing that it will just distract us from the rest of the outfits. So I guess I've kind of based the look around these amazing shorts from And Other Stories that I showed you guys in my What's New in My Wardrobe video. I love this almost like 70s floral curtain fabric and it's really nice and thick as well. Like it's very structured and they kind of have a tailored look and I just love the color and then I've just paired them with this dark brown turtleneck. This one's from River Island. I'm not sure if it's still in stock, but I will find you guys an alternative. I felt like dark brown would just pick up um, the color in the shorts really nicely, but you could do camel, you could do cream. Again, you can kind of do anything when you stick to the neutral color palette, but I really liked how the dark brown just kind of accentuated the contrast in the floral shorts. And then of course, I've gone for a pair of brown tights. I always buy mine from Calzedonia because I really love the shade of brown. And I think I get the like 50 denier. As you guys know, I'm not a big fan of black tights at all, although they are going to feature in this video, which I know is very controversial, but I'm doing it for you because I know lots of you love your black tights, but I just personally find brown looks more like a style choice, whereas I feel like black tights kind of can look like you just had to put them on because it was cold. And then on my feet, I've gone for my Stuart Weitzman ankle boots. These were such a good investment. I really love them. They're so comfortable to walk around in every day. I love how they kind of have that sock boot style. So they're really nice and like slim on your ankle, really petite, really feminine. I kind of like how when you wear them with brown tights, your leg just kind of looks like it's all in one. It's really elongating. It makes your legs look so, so long. And then of course I had to add a little pop of pink with my beautiful Chloe test bag, which, drum roll please, is back in stock on Farfetch. I got this actually last Cyber Week or just before Cyber Week. And then it went out of stock really quickly. And it's literally only just come back this month. Um, so hopefully, they will have um, a discount on this week, or if not, you guys can actually use my Farfetch discount code, which I'll try and remember to put down below, I and mean, you can get 10% off. So now for the jacket, and I think you guys are going to freak out when you see this, because I absolutely did. Oh my gosh, guys. Can you actually believe it? I was so excited when I saw this. They have it in like five different colors as well, but for me, the brown just looked so chic and expensive and it really isn't it's from coast and i feel like no other brand does this kind of thing like these are not something that are mainstream and like in every store right now it's just to die for honestly like everything about it i'll just come a little bit closer so you guys can see the shape so it's got like the bottom layer and then the cape layer the faux fur is so soft like it honestly feels real and the rest of it is like knitted so it's really cozy it's not like a big warm winter coat it's definitely um for when it's not like super super freezing seriously is the most feminine glamorous amazing thing i have seen on the high street in a long time just look at the movements Oh my gosh, I find it inspiring. And the fact that it's on the high street, like at a really affordable price, I think is so exciting. It looks so expensive. And to be honest, I'm just in love with this entire look. 
Oh, guys, another heavenly outfit. And I mean that kind of literally because I feel like this cape makes you look like an angel, like a snow angel. I just love this look so much. I think it's so like grown up and chic. This is such an expensive looking outfit. I don't know where to start. I decided to put the Burberry scarf on with this. I didn't have it in the original outfit plan, but I really like how it looks. These colors are just perfection. They go with everything and they kind of break up the look a little bit because as you guys know, I love to wear a lot of white and I love to do like an all white look, but things like this, like with your accessories, having a little pop of a darker color just breaks it up and ties the whole thing together. So I'll start with the trousers. So these um, trousers are actually mine. Um, so I'm gonna try and find you guys a similar pair. I don't think they'll be hard to find because these are very on trend at the moment. I actually got these for my 10 winter outfits video last November and I very, very nearly sent them back, but I'm so pleased I didn't because I feel like they've come even more into fashion than they were last year. And then I've just tucked this white Abercrombie roll neck jumper into the trousers. This is just such a perfect staple for winter. Like I've had it for about a month now and I've just been wearing it to death. It's just like become my go-to jumper just to throw on because I can wear it with jeans, leggings, skirts, shorts. I can literally wear it with everything, especially as it's white. And then of course, over the top of that, I'm wearing my gorgeous white Abercrombie blanket cape. I just love this. It's so gorgeous. It's so soft. It really is like a blanket. And there's just something about this like poncho cape look that it's just very, very luxurious. I was watching a video the other day on YouTube and like analyzing the outfits and the fashion in Gossip Girl. And apparently like back then, um, capes and ponchos were completely out of fashion. They were really considered like old school and not trendy, but Gossip Girl, like the designers and the stylists brought them back because throughout history, they've been associated with wealth. Like you would see capes on ancient kings and queens. And I honestly still feel like it has that vibe today. It's just the kind of clothing piece that's so easy and low maintenance, but totally just transforms and defines your look. And then I'm wearing this really nice pair of um, brown, beigey, ankle boots from Stradivarius, although I got them on ASOS, and they're very, very comfortable. They've got like padding in the heel, which is amazing. Like honestly, not even my expensive boots feel like this. So I'm really impressed and I love the color. I think again, like you would get a lot of wear out of these because you could pair them with so many things. Um, and I like the way they look with the trousers because the one thing that I found with these style of trousers is finding shoes that look good with them is quite difficult. But I like how this looks, just plain and simple, keeping in with the color palette. And then of course we have the bag who is a very beautiful and friendly guest at the moment with the potential of becoming a permanent resident of my wardrobe. I got this again for my luxury essentials video, but really, really seriously thinking about keeping it because I just think it's perfect. Like the colors, the size, it's just so beautiful. And I got it during singles day, so that was 22% off. So for Mulberry, it's Mulberry by the way, guys, um, that's an amazing. But I think it's just the perfect little companion to this look and also any of the looks in this video because the colors are just so amazing and they will just go with everything. So yes, I really, really love this whole outfit. I think it looks so high-end, luxe, expensive. In theory, it's really casual, but it also really makes a statement as well. And yeah, I'm just obsessed with it. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't believe it. This was supposed to be my black tights look that I was gonna put in just for you guys, but then I've got in my drawer and I thought that I had at least one pair but clearly I just got rid of all of them in protest. I don't have any black tights, they're all brown. So this is a very cool look. I don't actually have a jacket for this one, um, but the top and shorts are both from River Island, so really nice and affordable. And I think they look really, really cool together. The top is kind of like a knitted top and it's a really beautiful like beigey, camely color. And it's got these lovely details. It's got like this black and brown gingham trim. I'll just come a little bit closer so you guys can see um, the detail on the top. It's also got these really cool black buttons. And then the shorts are also from River Island and I think they're really cool. They're a houndstooth pattern or dog tooth, which I used to be so obsessed with like six years ago. And then I kind of went off it, but I feel like houndstooth will just always remind me of Gossip Girl, which is why it will always have a little bit of a place in my heart. It kind of has like a preppy heritage vibe, which I really love. And I really like the colors 
colours as well on the shorts. The black and brown, which is why I thought it went really well with the top and that it would also look good with black tights and black boots. I think people sometimes misunderstand my hatred for black tights. I think if it goes with the outfit, like if the shorts and the top have black in them and it goes and it makes sense, then it's fine. What I hate is wearing like cream, like a cream jumper dress with black tights. So I've actually got my black over the knee boots on. I haven't worn these in a really long time because I just kind of went fully off black for the last couple of years. Um, but I actually got these in Bloomingdale's in New York like four years ago. And they're not Stuart Weitzman, they're by a brand called Mark Fisher. And honestly guys, these are just as nice as my Stuart Weitzman. And I remember these were like $200 or something whereas Stuart Weitzman's are like eight to $900. So there's a really, really big price gap between them. And these are so, so nice, so fitted on the leg. Um, honestly, like perfection. I am gonna check this brand out again. This whole thing is kind of giving me like 2021 Gossip Girl vibes. And I really love how the main bulk of the outfit is really, really affordable too. So guys, this next outfit is not one that I've just put together for today's video. This has actually been my number one go-to outfit during autumn. Um, it's just been amazing because it's so comfortable and warm, but I just feel so stylish and put together in it. So first of all, I'm just wearing my everyday white turtleneck that I got from Zara like three or four years ago, maybe even longer, like five years ago, and it's my favorite turtleneck. And then I'm wearing these skinny jeans from River Island. These are their high rise, skinny jeans, just the classic in their ecru color. Is it ecru or ecru? I don't actually know, guys. I feel like that's a color that you only ever see online. Like nobody says ecru or ecru in real life, do they? But anyway, I just really love these jeans. They're so, so comfortable because the waist is nice and high, which I really like. And they're also very soft and very stretchy. But look, you can do a big old knees up. Um, and I really love the color. I think they look very, very classy. They are so different to like blue jeans or even white jeans. I just think this color is gorgeous. I know they're quite limited in stock at the moment. And then of course I'm wearing my beautiful Chloe cape jacket. I got this for my autumn luxury essentials video back in September and was really in two minds on whether to keep it or not because it was so expensive but I really just felt like it was the cape that I'd been waiting for like the cape of my dreams because I just love capes as you guys know this is the third cape slash poncho in this video so far the whole uh, thing that I was telling you about earlier with Gossip Girl I think that's when I started really loving capes and ponchos is when I started watching Gossip Girl when I was 12 and realized they're really not that common or that mainstream and when I saw this I just thought it was perfect because it's a cape so it has that kind of luxury feel, but it's very, very casual. It's got this gorgeous like knitted collar. You know, there's no like faux fur or embellishments or anything to make it super fancy. It's just a super wearable, beautiful cape for every day that just looks so stunning. So next, my shoes, which were also from the Autumn Luxury Essentials video, are my incredible Gucci boots. They are so me and honestly, they've got so much wear already. Like I'm so satisfied with how much I've worn them. I really loved how they looked with little like autumn dresses and autumn top and skirt combos with bare legs when it was like warm enough to have bare legs. It looked so, so cute. And now I just really love the tucked in look like with the leggings or the jeans. It's kind of equestrian. And then of course we have the coach tabby bag, which again, I feel like I shouldn't go on for for too long because I have raved about this for like three videos now. I've worn it so much more more than I thought I would. Um, and that's maybe because of the color, like the color just goes with everything. It's such an easy grab and go bag. You can wear it over the shoulder like this if you're not wearing a cape, or you can do it crossbody. And I just love the style. It's simple, but chic. And they always do a really good Cyber Week Black Friday promotion. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for the tabby bag. So yeah, this is the look that I've just been living in for the past couple of months. And I think it's totally warm enough to keep on wearing in winter. I may just need to change out the turtleneck for like a chunkier, warmer knit. Um, but yeah, I just really love it. It's so perfect for every day, but so, so stylish. So guys, next up, I wanted to do an outfit that wasn't necessarily super wrapped up and cozy because I know I have a lot of followers who don't, even in winter, live in like super cold climates, but still like to dress seasonally. And even for us in England, like we don't always necessarily want to be super wrapped up warm. We might be going to a shopping center in the car or to our friend's house for dinner in the car and we don't always need to be wearing like the warmest outfit. And I thought this was so, so cute. I absolutely love this dress from River Island. If ever I see a puffball skirt, 
I'm just in. It's so funny because when I was watching that YouTube video of analyzing the Gossip Girl styling and outfits, puffball skirts was another thing that apparently was so out of fashion and Gossip Girl just out of the blue decided to make a big thing out of them, which might explain why I love them so much. Like I didn't realize how influenced I'd been by Gossip Girl. There were some things that I knew, but other things that I hadn't even really considered like these. I just love puffball hems. I love the architecture of it, the structure, and just the drama and the flair. The color is obviously gorgeous. I just love camel and I paired it with, of course, my brown over the knee Stuart Weitzman boots. I just think they look perfect together. Um, the colors, the style, it's just very fun and girly. And then as you can see, I decided to pop on this Gucci belt with the dress because I felt like it really needed something around the middle. At the moment, it has like an elasticated waist. I would definitely say also size down in this dress. So the belt, first of all, adds just a little bit of structure um, and breaks up the color, but it also makes the whole dress look high end. And I just love how it looks. You can also have the sleeves long which looks really cute too. I do really love the long sleeves, um, but then you can also puff them up as well like this, which just like ugh, elevates it in my opinion with the puffball skirt and the puffy sleeves. But if you kind of want to wear it a bit more low key, um, it looks gorgeous like that too. The sleeves are still very full like quite balloony anyway. And then kind of to match the belt and keep the whole color palette looking really nice, I just popped this with my coach bag and um, you can just wear this over the shoulder like this and it all just looks really casual but super girly and fun. And guys, I just cannot get enough of the puffball. Oh my God, guys, this outfit is too cute. I don't even know where to start and there's a coat. There's a coat. First of all, I just adore the all white and beige look. I really do. You don't see many people doing it. Everyone's always in dark colors in winter and this just makes me happy. There are just too many cute elements. So first of all, I'm just wearing my classic white turtleneck. This really is my wardrobe staple. I just love a turtleneck or a roll neck. It keeps you cozy and it just always looks chic and classic. And then I've tucked it into this really adorable little beige pleated skirt from ASOS. I think it's a really nice skirt. It's so, so affordable but when you make sure that it's steamed properly and all those pleats are really nice and structured and you style it nicely, I think it looks so much more expensive. And you guys know a turtleneck top and a little pleated mini skirt is just Freddy 101 outfit perfection. Now, I don't even know where to begin with accessories. I think we just have to address um, what we're all thinking, which is how incredibly fabulous this hat is. When I saw this hat, I literally died. It's from Karen Millen, and it's just like this faux fur, creamy beige beret, basically, and I just think it looks so fabulous. It kind of gives like a Russian vibe, which I love in winter. I just think it's so much fun. I know there are so many people that would look at this hat and absolutely hate it, which makes me love it even more. Now, as you can see, I've gone for my Gucci tights with this outfit. No, they do not keep you very warm. They're basically um, like having bare legs, but they look fantastic. And obviously the Gucci tights are a splurge. I know that, um, but there are lots of brands that are kind of cottoning on, like River Island are doing a pair of like monogrammed white tights. So for my shoes, I've gone for my Tory Burch Gigi ankle boots, which I just love. I saw these in store like at the very beginning of the season in September in their Regent Street store. And I was like, I am going to need these. They're so me. They're the most beautiful cream patent leather. And they have really cute little tiny gold details as well that really stand out. They also have them in black, if that's more your thing, and a dark brown, which are so gorgeous. And I'm just really loving the turtleneck, mini skirt, beret, tights, and ankle boots vibe. It's all very Parisian, except I'm very aware actual Parisians will be watching this just like hating me, being like, we do not dress like that. And then for my bag, I've gone for my good old Dolce & Gabbana Sicily bag in the nude quilted. Again, so, so happy I went for this bag. I was really unsure because I already had a D&G Sicily in a very similar color, but to me, they're two completely different bags. I love them both so much. And this is just the perfect winter bag with this neutral color, it goes with everything. So hopefully they still have this. I think they do, um, and obviously I will link it if they do. Now, very quickly, we are just going to add a little coat. Oh my gosh, I saw this on Oasis and I just felt like I died and gone to heaven. It's the most beautiful trench coat in the perfect, perfect pale 
nudie camel trench coat color with this incredible pleated back. It's better than Burberry. I'm just gonna say it, it is. It's so divine, so feminine and pretty um, and such a gorgeous, lovely girly take on such a classic, quite like unisex style of coat. Even the sleeves are gorgeous. They're like balloon sleeves with cute little bow ties on the cuffs. It's so gorgeous. The buttons a tortoise shell. It's just every single detail of this coat is perfection. And I'm just saying with the trench and the faux fur beret, I just feel like I look like Anastasia right now in live action. Suddenly I feel like someone new. You can learn to do it too. So guys, my next outfit is a little less formal, a little less girly. It's a bit like more tomboy rock chick. It kind of reminds me of something Amy would wear, but just like in my colors. So as you can see, I'm wearing my Topshop biker leggings that I got a couple of years ago and I honestly just live in them. They have them on ASOS in petite, but for some reason they haven't brought them back in just the regular size. Hopefully they will. If not, I'm gonna try and find some alternatives for you guys, but I really love these. I love a leather legging or a leather pant or a faux leather pant. I just think they're a really nice thing to wear in winter. They look chic, they can look expensive. It's really easy for them to look cheap, but also quite easy for them to look expensive. It really is just a 50-50. So on my feet, I'm wearing the Gianvito Rossi. I don't know what you would call them. They're just like a really pretty feminine chunky winter boots and I don't really have any shoes like this that would be suitable for walking in the rain in and then on my top half I'm wearing this absolutely adorable sweater from River Island I am so in love with this it's really really cozy it's like kind of has a fleecy lining so it's actually very warm and I think they actually had this in pink as well but I was just very tempted by this color because I knew it would just go with everything it looks so wintry I just think it's really chic looking with the faux fur cuffs and that gorgeous faux fur collar. It's very casual, very laid back, but it just has that little bit of like cute feminine flair. I'm definitely keeping this sweater. I'm just saying, I love it so much. It's so cozy, so pretty. And if I saw someone wearing this, like Josie, and she said it was from Reese or Ted Baker or somewhere much more expensive than River Island, then I would totally, totally believe her. Um, I'm just obsessed with this, it's so cute. So yeah, I just love this look. It's so low key, it's so comfortable and warm. Just a perfect everyday, but chic look. So guys, I knew that this look would cause quite the stir amongst my followers. You'll be fainting in shock and horror that I'm wearing black. No, I'm joking. I'm sure most of you won't care or you'll be quite pleased that I'm wearing black because I know loads of you do really like black and I talk down about black in basically every fashion video because it's really my least favorite color apart from maybe gray. And I think it's just because in winter, I see way too much black, like out and about, everyone's in black and I just find it so unimaginative. But anyway, when I saw this dress on River Island, I just kept on going back to it because I just thought it was so, so pretty. I'm just gonna put the bag down for a sec so you guys can see like the full shape of the dress. It's just cut so beautifully. Like the way it's designed around the body is so, so flattering and gorgeous. The top half is so lovely. It has a high neck with a little pie crust collar, which I think is adorable. And just really lovely sleeves with a little gathering at the top on the shoulders. So it just gives quite a structured look, really, really feminine. And then look how pretty the sleeves are. They're floaty, but then they come in um, at the wrist with this really lovely buttoned cuff with the little pie crust frill detail at the bottom too. Just so many gorgeous subtle details that make it look like an expensive, just absolutely lovely dress. And then around the waist is this black velvet bow. I love velvet details and I feel like we just don't see them enough. It kind of gives a little festive touch, but not too much. And then just the beautiful pattern on the fabric, this like vintage floral design with the roses and the gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I just thought it was beautiful. And it means that you can wear your black over the knee boots or you can do your black tights with some black heels if you want to dress it up a little bit for the evening or with black tights and black ankle boots. So yeah, I really do love this. I think it's a steal. Um, it would be lovely for parties, like Christmas parties. You can dress this up and you can dress this down. And I think it's very classic too. There's nothing particularly trendy about this dress. So I think if you've got this, you could just keep wearing it for many, many winters to come. So guys, here is the final look. And I know lots of you would consider this too cold for winter, but like I said, there are people watching from all around the world and we all have slightly 
different climates, but I really love this look. I feel like this is so classically me and it's something that I would definitely wear if it was a slightly more mild winter day, which we definitely do have. I'm wearing this absolutely gorgeous pale pink cashmere turtleneck from Karen Millen. Um, if it's not cashmere, it's cashmere blend, but it feels like absolute perfection. It's the softest thing ever. It fits so nicely, like the neck is perfect, the shoulders, everything. It just fits like a glove and the color is so beautiful. I feel like there has not been enough pink in today's video so I had to bring it back with the last look and I've just tucked the jumper into my gorgeous Abercrombie wool skirt which I love so much. I feel like it is quite a basic skirt and um, there's nothing super duper special about it but it is the perfect staple winter skirt. I just love the colour and the fit. It kind of has a 60s vibe to it with the little belt. It's fitted but it's not tight, like it's not uncomfortable at all and I think it's flattering and I love how like the white or cream wool is just very very wintry. And then to accessorise I decided to go for my pink Burberry scarf which I just love. I feel like it just adds that finishing like je ne sais quoi to every outfit, a little touch of girliness, a little touch of luxe, you just can't go wrong. I then chose my grey over the knee boots just to have a little change. These are my oldest pair, I got these from Macy's like four or five years ago. So I'll try and find you guys a similar pair. And then for my bag, of course, it's the good old classic, my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in the rose ballerine color. This is one of my all time favorite bags and I find that I use it a lot more in winter than I do in spring, summer. I don't know if it's because I bought it in winter that I just associate it with winter, but I just think it's the perfect everyday crossbody. It fits everything in and it just adds that beautiful girly high end touch to every look. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot the gilet. So this little faux fur waistcoat is from Abercrombie. I just think it's to die for. It's so soft and it looks so luxurious. It just adds this beautiful high end, like glamorous touch, but it's still very casual. It's obviously super stylish. Like I think it just adds a whole new like layer and level of style to this look, but it's also really gorgeous like to add a little cozy layer to your outfit if you don't want to go for like a big heavy jacket if it's not cold enough. And I just think this look is so much fun. It's so girly, so cute. Um, yeah, it's just adorable. So guys, that's the end of today's video. I really hope you love the outfits. Remember, everything will be linked down below and don't forget I will be updating the description box every day with the latest discounts. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you all in a couple of days. Bye.